Hello, in this screencast we will preview the latest of the Open Nebula user interfaces. Open Nebula Self-Service Open Nebula Self-Service is a simplified web-based interface aimed at end users. Open Nebula Self-Service provides an easy way to manage Open Nebula's resources. We will see how to create a virtual network, how to upload an image, and how to launch virtual machines using them. Let's start by accessing Open Nebula Self-Service on its default URL. Self-Service uses Open Nebula's default OCCI server port. After the login is performed, we can see the self-service dashboard, which offers information, summaries, and shortcuts to manage the resources. These boxes can be customized by your cloud provider. Our first step will be to create a new virtual network. In the Networks tab, we just need to click on New and provide a name, a network address, and a network size. After the network is created, it appears on the list and we can see extended information by clicking on the item. On the extended information we can see, for example, the number of leases of that virtual network that are used by virtual machines. Our second step will be to register an image. This image will become a disk that can be used by virtual machines. In the Images tab, we simply click on New and fill in the form with the name and description. We are going to upload the Open Nebula Tutorial TTY Linux example image. After clicking on Create, you can see the upload progress of the image. After a successful upload, the image will be added to the list. Again, you will be able to see extended information on the resource by clicking on the list item. You can make the image persistent using the checkbox in this dialog. Our last step is to create a virtual machine. On the Compute tab, we click on New. In order to create a new machine, we only need to choose a name, select the instance type, and choose which disk and networks we want to attach. Instance types are provided and configured by your cloud provider. The images and network checkboxes display the available resources. We can choose to launch several virtual machines of the same kind. In this case, we will launch three. As we can see, the virtual machines appear on the list with a yellow state indicator, meaning that they are not yet deployed. We can see extended information by clicking on them. The Extended Information tab shows available information about the current state of the virtual machine and the network and images attached to it. For example, we can see that the state of the currently launched virtual machines is still pending and that the IP address has been assigned to them from the virtual network pool. After some seconds we can see that one of the machines turns to green, meaning that it has been deployed on a physical host, and its state is running. If we go back to the dashboard, we can see that the number of current resources has been updated. Open Nebula Self-Service also offers support for internationalization. Language can be changed in the Configuration tab. We hope you have enjoyed this screencast. Please visit www.opennebula.org for more information on the Open Nebula project.